Hey guys, what's up? It's Titan's Revenge again, and I'm back with another filament review for New Capricorn. Now, a few months ago, they sent me some color changing lava filament, which went from black to red to orange. And this time they had some orange that was going to color change and go to yellow. As you can see, it starts off bright orange on the spool, turns to yellow as it passes through the hot end. Once the print is finished and it cools back down to room temperature, it'll go right back to the orange color that was originally on the spool. And just like the previous color changing filament they sent me, this filament really, really lays down smooth and comes out nice and clean. So I fired up my Anycubic Viper and got down to printing. Right around the same day I received this filament, Chelsea over at Chaos Core released this ornate Charizard skull and I just had to get it printed. Now you guys know I love featuring Chelsea's models on my channel so with that I always have to say please 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 go look up Chaos Core Tech on Patreon and consider showing them support even if it's the little one dollar tier just to show that you support what they're doing and that you're a fan of what the the art and the creations that they're pumping out she really really deserves it before we get to those thermal chemical color changing portions of this video i really wanted to show off the models first just to show how clean and smooth they come out this one particularly came out with a lot of details it's very very impressive I could do a little better job cleaning up my models, I know, but understand that I really want to get these videos out, so, you know, sometimes I'm in a little bit of a hurry. As always, I'm printing everything at a temperature of 190 with a nozzle of 0.4 and a layer height of 0.2. Moving on to Capricorn's own model, I like to print this, it's supportless. Uh, it prints very easy and honestly it looks super good in this filament. It's very smooth. It's hard to actually see any layer lines at all. The only issue that I ever have when I'm personally printing supportless models is sometimes it might test it a bit on some overhangs and whatnot. And as you can see, uh, maybe some retraction settings need to be changed. Consider it a test print, you know, but for what it is, it came out great. Great, the detail is there. This filament has a sparkle and shimmer layer underneath that's just undescribable unless you see it in person. And for this final model, I headed over to printables.com and grabbed this three tailed fox from Gabo. Again, another supportless model, but it actually came out really, really good. It's so clean, it's so smooth. I'm, I'm so impressed with this filament. Even if there was nothing special about it and it only just printed orange with this like pearl shine to it, I would want it just for this brightness, vividness, colored orange. It's just amazing. But now let's see the properties that make this filament extra cool. Or should I say extra hot? I'm getting ready to hit these with a hair dryer so that we can get a quick color change on them and then I'm going to time lapse it back so that you can see the color as it changes back to room temperature. Oh, and by the way, did I mention I have a new FLIR thermal camera so why not use it to show this filament temperature change in real time. The models start turning yellow and making their transition somewhere around the 100 degree mark and at one point we were up to 105. By then the models were already starting to turn super nice and yellow. Once I turned the hair dryer off, it was only a short matter of time before it would return back to room temperature and be the same very cool orange that it was before and without losing any of its color or contrast. It's very cool. I am a huge fan of Capricorn's thermochromatic filaments and hopefully we'll be seeing some new colors from them soon. You'll be able to pick this up soon over at captubes.com and just remember Capricorn is not just about PTFE tubing anymore. 